What's up, gentlemen? What's happening? Hey. Good evening. Hey. It must be Tuesday How's night. Everybody? It yes, sure sir. is, man. Doing good. Doing good. Scott, did All you bring 12. a friend? Yes. Um, this man, well, needs no introduction to me, but I am extremely proud to introduce my brother, um, someone who I've known for the better part of 15 years, has taught me so much more about how to harness the skill that I have in photography. Um, he is a 30 year professional veteran of photography. Um, and I'll let him tell the rest of his story. So with no further ado, I'd like to introduce you all to the CEO of Mass Media. Mo yeah, Ma Go Mass on, Media. Right. I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gary Brown. <laughs> yes, sir. On, it's, it, it's been that kind of a day. That's all right. Uh, well, hi, everybody. I'm Jerry Brown, and I'm the owner of Mass Creations Multimedia, a multimedia company right here in Baltimore. And um, awesome. just uh, we do a lot of really cool stuff here, work with a lot of really interesting individuals getting uh, quality work done and making sure that we um, do an honor to the service of photography here. Got you. Pleasure having you on, man. Thank you so Thanks much for joining us. Me. Yes, sir. Thank, thanks for uh, accepting my invitation, bro. Hey, uh, no problem. First, first question. Um, I'll just give you a synopsis of what we all started with. What brought you to photography? What brought me to photography? Well, um, it was my uncle Melvin, actually. Um, my uncle Melvin uh, Davis. Uh, a longtime East Baltimore resident um, and accomplished photographer, um, still alive and kicking um, in his 90s. Well, he had a black and white developing lab in his basement. And um, wow. yeah, and uh, back in the day, this is like, I say late 70s, early 80s. You know, I'm just a kid and just fascinated by the fact that he was taking pictures and then going downstairs and bringing them up. And one of the things that was amazing was that, you know, he didn't let everybody go in the dark room with him. And one day he was like, come on, up, come on, nephew. And he let me go down in the dark room with him. And from that moment and from that experience and doing the old black and white developing and, you know, it was amazing to me. And I've been the guy with the camera ever since, you know, all throughout high school. I documented everything. And um always had uh, two passions in my life. One is my love for photography and the other my love for music. And um, through those two venues, they've always seemed intertwined. And um, neither one of them is one to this day. I still have a recording studio as well as the photography studio here. Right, absolutely. I, I was just about and to ask you that question. Has, any, has either one of them taken uh, the lead in your life? Well, my career, is, yeah. My, yeah, my career is a professional photographer, but okay. I still also run a full-fledged recording studio as well. But gotcha. you'll see me here more now than in the recording studio. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Is that Wes? I want to hey, recognize, I want to hey, recognize hey, our esteemed <laughs> colleague uh, looking <laughs> behind you. I hope, up, you're, right on the, I hope, you're, up, I hope you're on the side of the road. I am actually, I am in, um, I'm in a staging lot at BWI Airport, so I'm in a parking lot, so I'm still. Um, gotcha. Uh, yeah. And, and by the way, I'm sorry, guys, I'm watching at least 20 police cars going by down um, Aviation Boulevard. I don't know what's going on, but hey. I'm curious to see what the news is going to tell us. What's going on? They're on their way somewhere, right? They're on their way somewhere. <laughs> They're on their yeah. way somewhere. At least 20 of them, man. Crazy, wow, but Mr. Man. Jerry, Jerry, thank it's, it's exciting to hear about your story, man. Because um, I've I've had an opportunity, and Scott introduced me to you, and had a chance to work with you in the studio, man. I love your work, my brother. So it's really exciting to have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming, man. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me, and um, 
the energy and all that you brought when you came here and just making me, you know, I mean, giving me that, you know, warm feeling like you were you were learning something. Oh, or absolutely, least, my know, brother. Because if, if I'm not giving something to you and um, Scott will tell you, you know, the photographers that come through here and work here with me. If I'm not giving you something to leave with, then I'm not doing my job as a photographer. To me, uh, it's a yeah. you've got to share the art. Absolutely. And In one thing that I want to be able to say is uh, as as creative people, we draw inspiration from each other if we are open to um, being inspired, because not everybody sees everything the same way. Um, and we all have a unique gift. And so it's about expressing that unique gift and also being available and willing to share in that gift. And that's why I, I really enjoy working with you, bro. Yeah. It, it's, to me, it just well seems said. like a natural progression in photography that once you've gotten to the point where you feel that you have honed a skill to the point where you can repeat it over and over again because there is no perfection in art. But absolutely repeating, repeating the same functions over and over again in a ex, you know in what I would say an acceptable manner, then yes. you need to pass that that knowledge on, mm -hmm. so yes. that you can keep the art going. You know, um, absolutely. We still call Rembrandt lighting Rembrandt lighting because it was done hundreds of years ago by a master. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and mm -hmm. so, you know, I, I haven't developed any lighting yet, so there's no Jerry lighting, but, you know, <laughs> I'm on my way. I'm on my it's way. But, but the good, whole idea brother. is that, you know, that's where it comes from. You know, we, yeah. we have to pass that knowledge on. And um, one thing that people do notice when working with me is that I am passionate about lighting more than anything yeah. else, more mm -hmm. than I, 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 you have to have a, a skill in making sure because what we do is paint with light. So if Absolutely. we're not doing that, then we're mm -hmm. we're we're not take we're we're taking snapshots. We're not being mm -hmm. photography artists. We're just taking yeah. flat lighting, no color, no pop, no you know. You, like I say, learn the rules and then break them. Because when you can Amen. explain what you're doing. Then you've mm -hmm. got the right to break the rules, but learn the rules yeah. first. Absolutely. Wow, Absolutely. man. That is, that is a true <laughs> gem for life. <laughs> you know, learn the rules and then break them. I mean, come on, man. That's, we have to apply that. If we're smart, we'll apply that. To, we'll, we'll apply that to everything. Hands right. down. Absolutely. Man. Right. Well said. And, Absolutely. And you, 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 by breaking the rules, you have to still, for me, stay within the guidelines. I know, of I know what you get. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you can't just yeah. go. I put the light on the floor and aimed it at their feet and expected it to light their face. Exactly. Right. Exactly. With, yeah. Without doing any of the things that gives you front stage lighting. Got you. Mm -hmm. Got you. It, you sense. can't just put the light over their head and have it six feet in front of them and say, well, I was doing epiphany lighting and mm -hmm. I thought it was going to get them from where they were standing. You know, gotcha. you can't break the rules like that. You have to still follow <laughs> the rules and put things in the perspective where they work. And mm -hmm. then you can be creative outside of it and improvise yeah. from there. Absolutely. Gotcha. Absolutely. Gotcha. And I'll share with yeah. you all. Uh, one, of, one of the things that he helps me with is I'm, um, I'm free with letting everyone know that growing up the uh, son of a photographer, I don't know any of those rules. So <laughs> he, um, he, he, he's, he's found a way of teaching me the rules to break without actually teaching me because yeah, I, I, I never took in, I'm starting to take those classes now and I'm starting to learn that, oh wow, I've known all of this for a long time. Yeah. But um, yeah, <laughs> he's, 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 yeah. he's definitely <laughs> passionate about sharing, um, sharing what he knows. You know, it's something if, powerful about that, what you just said, Scott. Yeah. If mm -hmm. if you're if you're open, like Wes said, if you're open to mm -hmm. the experience, and mm -hmm. uh, I'll also throw in there, we uh, a lot of creatives and a lot of different um, venues suffer the same thing, and and that comes under the title of envy. 
um, you know, fellow practitioners, wannabe practitioners or what have you. And, and that blocks a lot of um, a lot of folks missing out on a lot of uh, good experience. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. one thing I think all four of us share is uh, don't have no ego around us. I mean, yeah, or I just met you not too long ago, but you fit right in with with these other two brothers that I've known for a long time, John as well. Uh, I appreciate we that, man. Do, we don't do egos. I not mean, at yes. all. The ego, minute the ego the, doesn't the work. Minute, for- yeah, the the minute you you showing um, that need to show someone what you can do mm-hmm. and, and cross that line. Yeah, I'm I'm I've cut you off. And I've noticed that remember. um John in the background has started sharing some of um some of Jerry's images um from his yes. IG. So at this, this is point, awesome. Jerry, I'll ask you to share your um your your IG handle. Yeah, oh, tell us, um, man, please. Well, Let oh, us know. I I have two. Um for uh, my everyday IG account, it's at Mass Creator and that's M A S S C R E A T O R. And then, if you'd like a little bit more spice, uh, my other page is My Intimate Eye, spelled out mm-hmm. exactly like that. Gotcha. Nice. Gotcha. Nice. And um, nice. that one, you will see more of my, ex- my lighting techniques. You'll see more sensual photography. Um, I just try to give, I love the female form, but I try to show it in a positive, beautiful way and not, uh, I don't know, how would you say it? Not exploitation. exploitation. Explo- I can't, yeah, not yeah right. you know, yeah. it's, yes. it's one of the biggest rules in my studio is uh, it's her body, her rules. Gotcha. So mm-hmm. you know, I in okay. order to get get the 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 images that I get, I have to build a comfort base with every model to the point where we can work on art and not have to worry about constrictions or limits or anything. We have to work within their idea of what they feel is appropriate, but we also have to go past, you know, just wow. getting in our heads. You can't get gotcha. in our heads. <laughs> really, really, John. You gonna show? You gonna my show boy. that melon? You Love show melon. my boy. Thank you. But, um, um, I, I do. You know. I do want to touch on something that that Jerry mentioned. Yeah. Um, in in terms of limits and in, in building uh, rapport, uh, one thing that the three of us have. Um, we recognize is is very valuable is because we deal with a lot of models. We deal with a a lot of modeling talent. Um, That often, especially if you're dealing with someone that you haven't dealt with before, that often requires a, a skill of being able to build an instant rapport with someone yeah, to right. the point where they're comfortable with where you're trying to take them. Gotcha. Um, Jerry, Jerry's a master at it. I mean, I, I've seen him uh, take control of photo shoots with someone walking s- straight at the door off the street. And <laughs> if I if I may say, straight uh, off the, the first airplane. Time, yeah, oh, straight off the airplane. As a matter of fact, straight off the airplane, pick them up in the Uber, driving the Uber, and then shooting. That wow. is, that's, that's amazing. Terrible. That's awesome. That that's awesome. Orn, yeah. Orn, Orn, he's it. he's going to be modest, but I'll also tell you that the first time I saw Wes build instant rapport with someone that he had met before, and got outstanding images and if i'm not mistaken wasn't one of those images published in the smithsonian oh my goodness you're talking about risha yeah oh you wow. had just met her we, we yes had just met her. oh my god that's amazing yes risha <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah Risha, that was so cool. That was unexpected, too, by the way. Yeah. I didn't know that they were going to accept that image, but I was really happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you, were telling, really us, you happy. were telling us about that, Wes. Yeah, I remember <laughs> you sharing that with us. My, yeah, my point I'm is, really all, 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 of, all, of this, all of this surrounds, it, it's surrounding your interpersonal skills. And that so goes, true. That makes right. me better than what I was talking about, ego. I mean, mm. basically, in anything that you're doing, and that even extends to your creative vein on anything that you're doing that involves somebody else, you got to put your ego aside at least long enough to build some camaraderie with whoever you're working with, or you're not going to get your best prop. I mean, you couldn't have said it any better. Problem. Right. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. I'll tell you, and I'll touch on that for a minute. Uh, it's powerful that you, uh, and that's why I mentioned a little while ago, you know, the point that you were making is so powerful because in anything with dealing with creating, you have to recognize it's not about you. You know, I always say you have to allow the there spirit within you to kind of just, you know, uh, ha have its way. So you got to yeah. just let it take full. You got to enjoy it. You got to go along for the ride and not realize yeah. that you're um, not who's in control, but you're on the ride along with who it is that you Absolutely. may be shooting, who Definitely. it is that you may be writing about, you know, or what it is you may be writing about. So you're 1000 percent right, Scott. And that's the beauty, I think, of, of being a part of the. The, uh, the cocoon that we come from as creators in our own right, in our own way, we're just along for the ride, man. And we're loving the fact that we're, we're um, blessed with an eye and an ear and, and, and a, um, an ability to speak, to be able to touch other people within what it is that we do. So, you know, this is amazing, man. Jerry, I tell you, your story is powerful, man. Yeah. Thank yes, you. Yeah. I, I mean, I well, a, um, I, yeah. Oh, good. Because well, I know. I, go ahead. Go I got a question for you. Can you remember um, back, and this is, like you said, over 30 years, can you remember one of the first images that you captured and, and what it was about that image that you, um, you, that you took a picture of or, or either, and I love that you said, you know, we're you all are painting with a light. Can you remember that first image that when you, I mean, you took that snapshot, you said, okay, I, I, you know, I, I just got bit by the bug of photography. I love this. I'm going to stick with this. Can you remember that one? Yes. Oh, tell I us, know man. Exactly Please. Who it was. <laughs> um, uh, I graduated and went to this Baltimore School for the Arts. And um, of course, uh, <laughs> I was in a very arts rich environment, but um, I was still the guy with the camera, even though I wasn't in the visual arts department. Um, I was actually in the theater department. And um, there was a young lady who I've known. Even before we got to high school, we actually went to middle school together. And the first picture that I ever took that was of a young lady named Hyper Daniels. And she just so happened to be sitting on the edge of the stage and she was learning lines and um, it was natural lighting. Um, it was a silhouetted shot, not silhouetted, I'm sorry. It was a profile shot of this I mean, just almost breathtaking young lady. I mean, just sitting there in her own moment. And that's when I saw what light can do. Wow. Mm. Because I saw the light on her. And even to this day, you could ask Scott, he's been here with me hundreds of times where I will just tell everybody, stop moving. Right. Just stop. Don't move. Mm. Stop. Because either the shadow, the light, whatever went, whatever happened in that moment, I needed it to st hold there right, so that right. I could mm -hmm. capture that shot. And he will tell you, I could, I may walk 180 degrees around that subject gotcha. mm. and take a picture. And he was, he'll look at me like, what did you see? And then I'll yeah. show him the camera and he'll go, damn. Oh, damn. Wow. Yeah. Man. That's because stuff. in that, in that moment, I saw light. And, and yeah. that's mm -hmm. the key, you know, and mm -hmm. from that picture that I took of Piper sitting on the edge of that stage um, to the next fun picture I took of her was about uh, two years later when we were in our senior year. And it was this picture of her fake sitting on a toilet and just like dressed up as an old lady because we were <laughs> backstage for a show. And I, I posted those two pictures before to her page only. And she was like, only you could get me looking that beautiful and that ugly in the same amount of time. <laughs> and, and, you know, I, I, she in her own right is an excellent, uh, excellent photographer. So, you know, seeing that she still appreciated the beauty of that moment. And she was like, I never knew that you captured that shot. And I was like, yeah. 
and it was and that's really the thing that I mean when I saw because I was on the lighting crew so I knew that we painted the stage mm -hmm. but you also are painting the subjects that are on the stage and you're creating an environment that set, sucks to sucks the audience into it and mm -hmm. that's what your picture should do so yeah. when someone looks at an wow. image that you pr produced, it should suck them in and draw them in. And they should say, <laughs> how did we get there? How did they get to this yeah. moment? And yeah. how, 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 how come I want to look at this picture and create a story? Yeah, mm -hmm. so true. You know, it's I funny. We hear first with our eyes. Yeah. 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 We want to see, we want to tell what happened up to and what's going to happen after that shot. And that's mm -hmm. when you know that when, especially dealing with portraiture and storytelling in your portraiture, that's when you're doing the art. So true, when you're, man. when people say what happened before that shot and what happened after that shot, um, like I was telling the guys before we started the broadcast, you know, I just fi finished a metal weapons shoot just a few minutes ago. Well, about an hour ago. And um, wow. the young lady, you know, um, I have a little, you know, little, little experience with um, weaponry a little bit but um, the young lady who I was working with she she wanted to shoot but she had never really handled weaponry and um, I had to tell her that you can't be pretty with this if you're being pretty you're not thinking of hurting the person because yeah, it was so a gentleman true. that she was at war with in the pictures mm -hmm. and I'm like mm. you and she kept laughing and I'm like you've got to stop take a deep breath focus because in order for me to get the shot, you have to be in the moment. You have right. to feel the way that you would want to feel if you wanted to use a weapon. Capture Otherwise, the it's going to look yeah. pretentious or fake or set up. Exactly. And once she got into it, wow. I ended up letting her. I ended up letting her uh, finish him <laughs> because she did such. A, once she bought in. Once she bought yeah. in. And, and started, you know, the facial expressions changed, her, the strength in her arms changed, the look on her face changed because she had to buy in. And when I saw it, I was like, this is like a comic book. Like when I saw yeah. it play out, I was like, this is literally like a comic book. And, um, That's so cool. and it was a cool moment. So and when cool. they sat down and saw the images afterwards and their raw images straight off on the computer and they were like, mm -hmm. we just did this. This is cool. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. You created a moment. <laughs> and that's what it. it's about. Making magic, baby. Making right. magic. I was just thinking about. that, Wes. I was just thinking that, Wes. Yes, Making sir. magic, man. Yes, indeed. That's what it's all that's, about, man. That's what I live for. Yes. I love it. Absolutely. Look, I go to um the corporate headshots pay the bills, but the art is what creates the, the energy to do the corporate headshots. <laughs> yes, oh, that's man. always the case, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 So yes, um, before I change gears, the last question I have about imagery is, um, is your IG pages the only places that we can see your work? Uh, for um, you guys, I can give you, um, uh, this is pretty long. It's uh, mass creation multimedia dot shoot proof dot com. I had to, I had to write that one down. Mass creation yeah. multimedia dot shoot proof dot com. And you can actually see some of my corporate work, some of my um, uh, maternity work, some of my headshots, uh, some. There are even some of my, you know, sexy, sexy stuff there. Not overly, but, you know, I have a nice array of stuff. Some of it is password protected because some of my customers choose not to have their whole albums available, but um, you can see a, the wide range of work that I do. That's awesome. Thanks, yeah. man. I have to make sure I check that now, out. Appreciate it. Yeah. In the last couple of minutes, um, I'm going to switch gears because uh, you did mention that you're a musician also. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we've got a, got a recurring theme, and somebody who will remain nameless at the moment uh, missed the last couple of weeks. Uh, oh, yeah. we, I'm sorry, guys. Hey, hey, look. Please forgive me. I, I missed the I missed the week, and then they hit me <laughs> with with the question. Uh, so I'm going to ask you, eh, kind of a different way. Top five albums or top five 
artists. Like you're on a dead yeah. island and you only got five. Okay. Um, the Lonious Monk. Uh, Diamonds and Pearls by Prince. That album. Um, Emerald City. That's an album by the one Tina Marie. only Tina Marie. Oh my God. Gotcha. What? Any album. I'm sorry, I got to go artist with Earth, Wind, and Fire on it. Yep. And any album where my boy Stevie Wonder blessed the bike. I was wondering if you were going to go there. Yes, indeed. <laughs> That's a good wow. five, man. But good the Thelonious Monk on a Sunday morning on the porch, yep. drinking my coffee. Mm-hmm. Just listening to soul come out of his and oh my gosh, that's I want to go listen to it now. There are a lot of um other artists that I just love because you know music encompasses me. You know, there's Antonio Hart, saxophonist from Baltimore, amazing, mm-hmm. played with Roy Hargrove, mm-hmm. played with oh, wow. um, yeah, Dennis Chambers. Um, I mean, like, there's just so so much music has always been in my life, you know, growing up, and um, I actually like some of the stuff that I do. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome. yeah, this may be familiar. I need to hear some stuff, man. You gotta, gotta right, figure man. out. Well, well, you can actually. I mean, one of the, if you uh, go to YouTube, you can see I did a uh, a whole album, but half of the album was done in video form as well. Uh, the artist's name is Angel, and the, okay. um, and if you the hit, I guess the song that I would say if you look up, Angel Walk Away. I'll put that in. And in YouTube, and uh, I actually wrote, produced, and um, we released that song independently or that album independently for Angel. And, um, wow. You said Re- you said Renee, right? Angel. No, ain't. Angel Walk yeah. Away? Angel. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. I got it right here. I'll make sure to listen to it. Yeah, and uh, I will have to throw a shout out to one of my great friends who uh, played the guitar on that song. Um, just uh, murdered it for me, and um, that's Mr. Matthew. He killed it. Just what's up. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yes, indeed. This has been great. This has been good. It has well, been. Thank, thank you, brother. And, hey, and, truly, you, and, 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 yeah. and truly, he is my brother. Like I, like I said off air, I have known him. I said fifteen. I actually, it's been like it's sixteen more, years. Yeah, more than a wow. year. Yeah, yeah. That's all. This has been heart. great, man. I, I mean, I really enjoyed this. You know, talking yeah. about stuff that I love. You know, yeah, it's, it's, it's that we it's all really love. cool. That yeah, we all, yes, indeed. We all share Thanks that love, man. Me we in. appreciate you, Jerry, man. We appreciate yes, you, man. You're a fam. You're a fam now. <laughs> yes, indeed. Welcome. You're welcome back anytime. <laughs> anytime, right, man. We'd love to have you back. All right. Hey, John. You definitely you know I'll be back. And, and John, I'm done. You done? You did your own? <laughs> you, the can. All right, Thank John. You, John. All right. All right, Wes. You up next, Joe. You up the bat, Wes. Right, Thanks, week. people. Okay. All right. <laughs>